I got some jewelry. Okay. And I do know the name of this company because I've done videos about this company before. And the name of this company is, is called Shop Unique Y O U Unique. Um, so I bought this set. Can you guys see it? I like that. With these earrings. And that was uh, $16 for the set. I have not worn that yet. I'm about to be a jewelry junkie. Along with the product junkie. There's too much junkie. Um, and then I also got... Uh, oh, well, I have a card in here so good. I, I'm glad to be able to tell you guys who this stuff came from. Um... The next two pieces were bought from, does she have a website? Uh, she doesn't have a website. Oh, she just have a, she has a Yahoo address on here, but it's called Cultural Accessories and Clothing. And it is Zaya86, Z-I-A-H. 86 at yahoo.com but no website so I don't know if that means she has a website and she has an updated her card or she doesn't have a website so for all you businesses that show up at these um, meetups especially one this major if at all possible and maybe you just you know just starting I don't know but if at all possible you really need to have a website um, so I got these earrings from her and they're all um, handcrafted. She painted them all. Um, it says just wood on the back. But aren't they cool? I just really love them. I love, you know, I love things. All things bohemian, I really, really love. Okay, I got those from her. Um, I have no idea how much they cost. I cannot remember. I want to say... I don't know. So I don't even want to put a price on her product. Um, I know it was not over $20 for sure. Um, but I can't remember. Um, and then I also bought this bracelet from her. It's, isn't that cool, y'all? I love it. 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 And I actually meant... Okay, I actually meant to get another one. Um... Before they packed up, just one for each wrist. Just, I just, you know, or either just stack them. I don't know. But I meant to get another one, and I did not. So, those are those two pieces from her. And then I got, let's see if there's a business card in here. Nope. And I have no idea the name of the company. But um, I got these earrings. And I don't know if you guys can see them well, but. I just thought they were cool. And I like the fact that they're, um, you know, multicolored. I like that a lot. So, got those. And I hope I can edit this video real well because it's long. Um, then it was this lady there who... Is called calls herself the earring lady. Now you can find her on MySpace, but I didn't really um, see anything on MySpace that would really help you order anything um, from her. But she was called earring lady. She had a pretty substantial setup, and so um, I got these earrings from her, and all of her stuff is handmade too. And I thought she was just awesome. Um, Hopefully you guys can see that. But I really, really like those. Maybe you can see them about this way. Aren't they cool? So I got those from her. 
And I got these, which I just think is the bomb. These from her. Can you see those? Can you can you see what I'm talking about right there? Okay. Love it. So I got those from her. And I have no idea what hers cost either. Um and then I know I had I had another pair. I don't know what I did with that. Um hmm. Okay, well maybe I'll come across it later. My sister actually bought these for herself. And I think she liked how they looked, but she, she just said she couldn't bring herself. She didn't see herself wearing them after she bought them. Because um, they're pretty, pretty big. I love them myself. Um, but it's from the same person, the earring lady. But I think they are cool. So... Um, she decided that it was a little too much for her as far as the size and everything. So guess what? I looked out and she gave them to me. Now I had one other pair. Now you know it's going to bother me until I find that pair. But anyway, that is the jewelry um, that I got. And I did get another pair. I just don't know where it is. Okay. So then I picked up this messenger bag and i thought he had his site okay the name of his site is www.unities t-e-e-s um u-n-i-t-e-e-s dot com um and his, his caption or tagline is the fusion of fashion and culture so i like messenger bags anyway um and i got this one from him. Hope you guys can can see it. Um, yeah. that, I thought that was cool, like a pro. And um, it has words on it about, um, of course, our natural hair. My scalp is the soil enriched with the oil and the butter of shea from mother's land, and it goes on. It's I love it. Y'all know I love this. Okay, so I got that, and I still want to know what other pair of earrings are. I found the other pair of earrings. Okay, these also came from the earring lady, and I can't wait to wait to wear these. I might wear these um while I'm hanging out this weekend. But aren't these cool, y'all? Look at that. I really, 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 really love those. I think they're fierce. So, got those from her, too. Okay. So, um, then I got a few t-shirts. And one of the t-shirts is just a t-shirt, um, for the show. And it's, uh, the World Natural Hair Show. I think it says, yeah. The World Health and Beauty, Natural Hair, Health and Beauty Show, 2011. See it, see it, see it. And then on the back it says, Natural Girls Rule the World. Hope you guys can see that. Natural Girls Rule the World. So I got that. And then I got a t-shirt from another lady. Um, and I thought I had her business card in here. But if I can find the business card, because I think she had a, a business card that kind of stood out. I'll post it in this video. Um, and maybe on a shirt. But I got this shirt. Um. And it was, don't you see that? I thought that was kind of cool too. And it has things um, on it like, uh, just things that describes um, this natural woman. 
and describes us like uh, professional, divine, protector, beautiful mother, sexy, supportive, queen, um, educated, loving, gorgeous, ambitious, courageous, passion, survivor, diva. Yeah, professional. I think I said that. But I thought that was a cool t shirt. And the lady who was selling these t shirts, um, she, of course, did the design herself. And uh, it was her and uh, she, it was she and her sister, um, who were at, at their booth. And then the last t-shirt I got for me, because I did get my t-shirt, uh, my, my t-shirt, I did get my husband a t-shirt as well. He um, wanted me to bring this t-shirt back for him because I looked this uh, business up. Before I went there, I went on the vendor list for the website for the show. It was called Because I'm Black .com was the name of the business, and so they um, sold a lot of different things with "I love being black." And uh, this business is really um, a very successful business. You can very easily find them online. Um, they've been featured on, um, I think, BlackEnterprise.com. Um, the owner's been featured on there. And um, it was just a really cool t-shirt. And I don't have his, but it's just a solid black t-shirt. Um, and I, with the heart in red, of course, I love being black. Um, with the I being black in white lettering. And then, the, of course, the red heart. But it was cool. And this shirt right here, y'all, I love this shirt. I probably will wear this shirt maybe this weekend with those the last pair of earrings um, I showed to you guys. But look at that. So, sister, now you tell me, is that not the business? That's the business right there, y'all. So, sister, I love that T-shirt. I love it. And a good thing about these shirts, too, they're big enough to fit a big girl like me. There was one guy there. He had some really cool T-shirts. My nephews were there, and they all got T-shirts um, from him. But he, you know, it's like a... Uh, know thyself and just very strong empowering type t-shirts but he really didn't have any t-shirts for big girls so I said now brother you're at the World Natural Hair Show uh, with a lot of us sisters now you know a lot of us sisters you know because I mean when I said he didn't really have any big shirts I mean he basically from what I saw he had a lot of small fitted shirts um, so, I mean, even if, before you get to the size, I would need, he had small fitted shirts from what I, from what I saw. But, you know, he told me he had ran out, and I believe that because his booth was very busy. But he told me that if I went on his site, and, um, his site is the same site that made the messenger bag. Um, that whatever design you saw, whatever you like, you could, you know, have it customized to whatever type shirt you wanted, what size, and all that. So, I thought that was cool. And he was a real nice and uh, professional um, person there. But um, I don't think I ran into anybody who was unprofessional. So I thought that was excellent, too. Um, so I think that's pretty much it for what I bought. Of course, I bought some other things. Um, like I bought some spoken word um, CDs for some of the performers who were actually there. I bought their CDs and um, the samples, y'all. The samples were crazy. I mean, I'm just gonna show you this, just, just this, okay? I hope you can. I don't even know if you can really see in there, but all that's in here. And there are little packets all throughout here and bottles. It's just crazy. I mean, and for a product junkie like me, I'm like, oh my God. I mean, I'm really going to have to make it my business to use this stuff. Because if I don't, I mean, I don't know. either I need to use it, maybe give some of it away or whatever. Because I'm concerned that if I just let, let it sit there, I don't know. I end up maybe having to throw it away. I don't know. It, expo it may expire or something. I don't know, but, um, and out of, and also, you know, with it being the type of show it was and so many vendors, y'all, I got 
business cards and see they're dropping all out pamphlets and all kind of brochures and and everything under the sun i can tell you this i plan on doing a video that's just going to be strictly informational um i'll probably just roll the websites in the video and then paste them um in the bottom so you can just hit on the links and just go to these websites for these businesses and check them out and see if you may you know you may see something you like and you may want to um, purchase something from there because I'm gonna tell you now from being there um of course I'm natural I love being natural you know um very much in the natural and me being um a natural hair person for me it, it it is um it has a profound significance for me um and I love it so you know but being there and in that environment and watching all of those sisters and brothers really be on their grind um, far as their businesses are concerned that too you know for an, for a person who wants to be you know um, in business for herself such as I do I mean it was very motivating because you could tell for a lot of them they were tired I mean because the crowd was crazy y'all on the first day at one point the fire marshal wouldn't even let any more people in from what I heard um, and I was there for both days and it, and it was indeed really crazy on the first day um, but it was amazing. I mean, even though um, as crowded as it was and everything else, it was still a good, it was a good vibe. It was nothing negative about it at all. Um, everybody was cool, laid back. You know, there was no drama. It was just, it was wonderful. And again, it was so empowering just to see us and all of our naturalness, but to see those businesses too on their grind and really doing the thing i mean doing it you know that was just something great to see too so who knows maybe maybe next year i mean you know i know i'll be there no matter what if i'm alive i'm going to be there but who knows maybe i can be there some type of vendor next year we'll see don't know but it was great so again if you didn't get to go this year try to go next year because it is truly the bomb